Working in God's will is something that every Christian should desire and should want in their life. But most times, it could look so complex if it is not simplified for you. So in this video, I want to give you simple tips on how to work in God's will. They are simple, but they are powerful because the gospel is not about complexity. It's about simplicity of unveiling the personhood of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. The first one is the desire for the will of God. Or should I call it the hunger for the will of God? Scripture says in Matthew 5, verse 8, Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be filled. God is a God of justice and it is his desire to see every Christian to come to a place of like, God, I really need you. I'm really craving to live for you. I'm really craving to become righteous. I'm really craving to do what is right in my daily life, in my marriage, in my relationship, in my journey towards meeting you in the final day. In whatsoever I'm doing, I really want you. The hunger, the craving, just like you would crave for food, it is that craving, that desire to see the will of God in your life. Jesus in his walk on earth said in John chapter 4 verse 34, My meat is to do the will of him that sent me and to finish his work. He's saying this is all the craving, the desire I have. The food for me is when I do God's will that satisfies me. What gives me satisfaction is to do the will of my father and to finish his work. What gives you satisfaction in life? If your desire in life is not to live for God, to see God's will being done, then it seems you're still far away. In the Lord's Prayer, Jesus taught the disciples how to pray and the line said, Let thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Which should be your desire to tell God, Let your will be done in my life as it is in heaven. Everything you have purposed for me, let it come to pass here on this body. Let it come to pass here and now. And for me, it is the word that came to me and I was like, God, I am invested to everything you had planned for my life. I am invested to your plans, to your purposes, to your will. So let it happen in me. It is the strong desire to see God live through you. For you not just to live in your flesh, but to see God's glory manifested in you. And that is where you can come to a place of living and shining as the light that Jesus said, you are the light of the world. And how can you shine your light to the world if you are not living in the will of your Father God? And if you want to walk in the will of your Father, let your desire be to live in His will. The number two tip on how to walk in the will of God is for you to walk in the Spirit. The truth is, if you want to do the will of God in your flesh, you cannot. You don't have that capacity. It takes the Spirit of God. Because even Jesus, before he left the disciples, he said, I'm not leaving you alone. I am sending a comforter, a counselor, a standby, another helper like me, which is the work of the Holy Spirit in you if you are set to work with him because he is a gentleman. He's not going to force himself on you and be like, I was given as your helper, I must help you. No, it's about you consenting to his help. Holy Spirit, I need you. Holy Spirit, my helper, help me. Holy Spirit, my helper, deliver me from this temptation. Holy Spirit, my helper, help me walk in the will of the Father. Holy Spirit, my helper, my standby, my comforter. I'm heartbroken. Comfort me. I need counsel. I need wisdom. That's why the scripture says, if any man needs wisdom, you can ask of God and he will give you that wisdom liberally. He will not kind of say, what will you use the wisdom to do? No, he wants you to walk wise. That is why he's ready to pour out his wisdom to you. It's now left for you to answer, are you ready to walk in the spirit or you want to live as you wish? First Corinthians chapter 2 verse 11 tells us why we really need to walk in the spirit. For what man knoweth the things of a man save the spirit of man which is in him? Even so the things of God knoweth no man but the spirit of God. Because how can we ever know God's will if we do not know the spirit of God? It is the spirit of God alone that knows the will of God and the heart of God. So if you do not walk in the spirit of God, you will not fulfill or walk in the will of God. Because in reality, there are so many things that you might do in your life that may not agree with God's will, but because they are not written on the pages of scripture boldly, you still continue in them. And it's only through the Holy Spirit of God who will tell you through conviction that this is wrong. That is how you'll be able to walk in God's will and know that there are a lot of things that the culture have introduced that are not in line with God's will 
and through the Holy Spirit is conviction in your heart because the Holy Spirit does not condemn. He will convict you of what is right, of sin, of righteousness, and of judgment, making you know that your sin has been paid for. So why are you dabbling with this? Why are you trying to play with this? So that you take the comfort, the counsel of the Holy Spirit for you to be able to walk in life, honoring God and walking in God's will. Galatians 5.16 says, This I say then, walk in the Spirit, and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Walking in the Spirit does not mean you are leading the Spirit of God. It means the Spirit of God is leading you. You are consenting to His leading. Holy Spirit, be my compass. Let your peace be my compass. Let your peace direct me in this affair. Let your peace direct me in this journey, in this business, in this life journey, in this career. Holy Spirit, my helper, help me. And the last tip is agree with God's word. Scripture says, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes out of the mouth of God. Which is the word of God has everything you need to walk in the will of God. But if you do not study the word of God and try to walk in it, not just studying. Because scripture has made us know that a true believer, a true son of God does not practice sinning. If you find yourself practicing sinning, you are not really saved. You need Jesus in your life. David said, Thy word have I hid in my heart that I may not sin against thee. So it is you agreeing with God's word and practicing every word of God. Not the culture. Culture will have things that are contrary. People have ideas that are contrary. A lot of people have their ideas which are based on perversion by the devil. And they try to push it down the truth of everybody. Like we can see today in culture, there are so many ideas that are not in line with the word of God, that are corrupting and defiling. But today it's being pushed down forcefully. And a lot of believers are falling victims of these things. And you need to wake up. This is not you trying to say, I don't want to be like holier than thou. No, it's not about that. It's about you not being common, but fulfilling the purpose of your father on earth, walking in the will of your father on earth. Jesus said, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all other things shall be given unto you, shall be added unto you. It's not about you trying to compromise or try to act favoritism to get things done for yourself. You have the helper. You have your father who cares for you, who wants the best for you. I hope this has helped and you've picked something from this short video. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Uwe McMahon. This is my YouTube channel. I would like you to subscribe to this channel. Give this video a thumbs up if it has been a blessing. And I want to sincerely take this moment to thank you for being a part of this channel, for watching the content that I put out, for liking, for commenting. Thank you so much. God bless you for following up with this. I would like to hear your questions that you have in this walk with God. My desire is to help you through the word of God for us to walk this walk and save our father and walk worthy of him. Thank you so much for watching and salute you. Bye-bye.